Welcome to the frequency that's all about turning you into a greater version of you. Welcome to the podcast that's offering you greater. You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast. We, we got to be aware of the way that we're managing ourselves. That's what you're hearing. Right now, you're hearing stories of personal management. You're hearing stories from people who used to mismanage themselves all the time, all day. <laughs> and realize that, you know what, I'm not going to put all my time, effort, energy, and attention in managing everything else about life except my life. I'm not doing this no more. I'm not moving this way no more. Greater shall I be, greater shall I do, greater shall I have. And it's no longer acceptable for me to mismanage my life and spend everything that I'm doing trying to manage everything else in life but not managing mine Mm -mm. let me speak to the manager not who I need to talk to y'all ever had one of them situations when it was like it wasn't the experience that you wanted it wasn't it's kind of like what 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 uh what Tiffany was just saying it's like it wasn't the experience that you wanted and you just you know let me speak to the manager let me speak to the person in charge let me speak to the one that has the power to create the reality that I desire cuz clearly you don't let me speak to the manager i think that's the next the next time you find yourself um not in control of the way that you are experiencing life and the next time that you may find yourself not in control of your feelings or the way that you are behaving just just inside you don't got to say it out loud because i don't want you to look crazy but inside just say hey let me speak to the manager and then you respond with the managing component of your existence the higher thought that that God state, that wholeness, that joyfulness, the part of you that knows that ships don't sink because of the water that that's outside of it. They only sink because of the water that gets inside. And I don't have to let everything that happens on the outside happen on the inside. So I'm going to manage myself properly. May I speak to the manager? Deacon Clark, I would love for you to, to come in here uh, real quick and emphasize uh, again and drop some knowledge on the difference between happiness and joy. You did such an amazing job at the Greater Existence Workshop of dropping this information on the difference between happiness and joy. And I think this it would just further accentuate and elevate the vibe right now. Um, you got a minute? Can you, can you, can you share that information with us? Absolutely, Pastor King. Um, thank you again for the opportunity. Um, oh, let me speak to the manager. I think that's that's what myself told me without words. You helped me put it in words, um, Pastor King. Because really, remember, I said uh, I had to hog tie and duct take me. I put me in a corner. And it was like, we want to speak to the manager, the person who's in charge, because we watching you, we feeling you, we are experiencing your lack there of management of us. Mm-hmm. You got us rocking to stuff that we don't even rock to. You got us growing in places we know we ain't supposed to grow in. And yeah, we can grow there because we are creators. We can absolutely do that. But you got us growing in areas that is not conducive to what we supposed to be on. Things because things can grow outside of its natural environment, but it does not create the desired harvest. It doesn't harvest the same, but things can grow where it's not supposed to be, but it does not harvest the same. Go ahead, keep going. Because your power. So this is why you can this is why people can benefit from you. We feel like people using us, oh, they know you are source energy. How why would they not be attracted to you? Why would they not use you up? You ain't using you. <laughs> That's what it is. But so can I speak to be used. Yeah, absolutely. We are here for that. That's our service because we are that. We are source energy when we sleep in with source energy when we're not even thinking. Even your thought that you thought you didn't thought that didn't have anything has just as much power. 
but when you don't when you aren't deliberate with that thought so it can manifest something in your existence then it's still going to produce something lower than usually and then you can't find the evidence of you in it but can I speak to the manager like that is literally what myself said you need to go on the corner we can't talk to you you're not needed here we, we your feelings was important because we need you to feel but you running this show no you can't run this show where's the real person who's in charge like we want to speak to the higher in you because you punk faking us <laughs> that we weren't supposed to be in not at this moment and yeah and so i don't know if you remember me saying that in the beginning of manifest um when we um started and with the ladies on the powwow calls where we spoke about i spoke about personally saying i had to hog tie and duct tape a version of myself because you were the imposter where is the real manager that's in charge of this frequency and in charge of this god state that we supposed to be doing and that we are oh man yeah, yeah. give me wait, let me speak to the person that has that capability because uh-huh. clearly, because if you have it, you're not exercising it. Yeah. And you're, and you're not bringing me the reality that I desire. You're not serving me with what I wanted. Let me speak to the manager. Mm-hmm. And that's like what Tiffany said. Like, it wasn't like you like, wait a minute. How, is, how did that outcome come out of what I feel on the inside? How is this should have been pressed down, shaking together, running over? Like, not me still feeling and complacent, not good enough, and all those things. No, I should always feel joy and this excitement because I'm that, but how am I doing the work and yet I'm not reaping the harvest of that? And because the wrong person was in charge and we can allow our fears to be in charge, we can allow our insecurities to be in charge, that is what's going to control and direct your life. And yeah, man, mm, I love it. Thank you. You absolutely, because that that that'll change some things, and just knowing what you want out of life, and not settling for other. You know, listen, we went we went somewhere yesterday to get some coffee, and and they didn't have the pieces or components to what I wanted, and so I couldn't have what I wanted, so I just didn't get anything. Um, I just like oh, I'll just take I'll just get water then, and uh, and you know my queen looks at me and was like you're not gonna get anything. I'm like I'm not accustomed to having what I to to just settling for something else. Well, if I can't have what I want, I just want I just want I'm okay just not having it, <laughs> or or doing whatever else is necessary or can be done to to acquire it. But I'm not accustomed to just getting something else and just having another experience outside of. It that which I desire I'm accustomed to creating the opportunity to have what I desire and and that trickles down to even just a cup of coffee y'all like it is what it is that doesn't change because of how big or how small it is it's a principle we're not measuring the size of it because you can't so don't be accustomed. Don't make yourself accustomed. Matter of fact, get out of that custom. You've been in this custom way too long. I know it's how what you was taught. I know we grew up on some hand-me-down shit. I knew we we came from environments and situations that taught us that you just take what you can get. But listen, that time is over. That season is past. You gonna have what it is that you desire. You're going to create the realities for what it is that you desire. And you're not going to settle for some for second best or for second something. That's not what the type of time that we on. Let's get let's let's get unused to that. Let's unlearn that. Because you can have the fullness that you desire. Deacon Clark, the, the difference between joy and happiness, what is that? I got all excited about the manager in the building. Okay, so the difference between joy and happiness. Happiness is happiness is what's outside of you short-lived that um that you got to seek from something else joy is what's divinely given what you always have is never wavering never compromising knowing that if i can't get that in my coffee then i don't want it at all it's not several it 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 always is you can never take away from and it's a constant it's a constant thing and so happiness is third party 
And if you're looking, it usually comes when you're looking for it from the outside. And joy is just yours if you're willing to tap into it. Mm. Joy, happiness can be accumulated. Joy is uh, a well that springs from the inside of you. Yes, I like the way you did that. Yes. Yeah, and so happiness has to be pursued too. Joy, you joy just is. Joy just is. Happiness, you gotta run out the happiness, you gotta seek out the joy just is. That's why they say the the pursuit of happiness. Mm-hmm. Cause that's something that you gotta be go out there to get. Some it's something that's that's out there, but joy just is. Joy exists. Joy is in it in its fullness. Yes. All the time. Joy is always on go. Yes. And and on go meaning because it adapts to every environment. Not it has to chase after environment. See, joy just is. And happiness, when you got a pursuit of happiness, if it's summer, spring, and fall, then happiness changes. But joy adapts and makes the environment. I like the word co-creates or creates. Joy creates. In any environment. Yes. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Yeah. And happiness is determined to the environment. Because happiness changes in the, in the, in the environment. Happiness mean, means something different in different environments. Mm-hmm. Joy is the same thing within you. This is some, that's some good stuff right there. That'll change your life. It changed mine. <laughs> And so I created an acronym for this press scheme since you know I like I like words and I like making it um, work for me. So joy is joining. So the J in joy is for joining, meaning aligning your words, your thoughts, and your deeds. And um, the O is for opportunity. So allowing everything to be what it is, and you getting what. Um, What's do you from that environment? So allowing every situation to be an opportunity. And then the why is for youthfulness because you do this from your childlike state, which is your childlike faith with no boxes, no um, no limitedness. And that's how you stay in the joy because you align all of you. You see everything as an opportunity and you do it from a joyful state that allows you no fears, no boxes, no insecurities to now cultivate. That's that is amazing. Uh that is absolutely amazing, Dean Clark. What what was it, Jay? Jay is joining. So you joining is a line. Yeah. So hey, you are hey, aligning hey, your words, hey, your thoughts, and your deep. Hey, so yeah. Joining everything together. Because sometimes we'll go and Is that in your book? We just I just did that yesterday. <laughs> Hot off the press. That's some that's some stone cold game right there. Yeah, we haven't even wrote that down, but when I just thought of it, so uh-huh. y'all clap it up for the exclusive. <laughs> and because we'll take our we'll take our feelings and we take our intellect into a place. So this is why you gotta join your your mindset, your heart set. And all of these things. So it's the aligning of that. Because sometimes we just take our fears and we ain't took the intellect that I wasn't given the spirit of fear. So we know that that fearfulness means nothing. I can still do this very thing that might I might be telling myself I can't even do. To that, go back to that that uh you said we was not given the spirit of fear. Mm-hmm. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But yeah. when you allow fear to overwhelm you, you're not thinking in your sound mind. So this is why you got to align. This is why you got to ensure that everything is joined together. Like the hip bone need to connect to the thigh bone because if not, you ain't going to be able to walk right. So we'll go in situations and we ain't walking right because we aligned. All of us. We just moving from fear. We're moving from some insecurity, but we ain't brought the intellect that knows that that I am the change in this picture, that I can change the narrative right now at this moment in spite of what just happened. 10 seconds ago. So you were given a sound mind. We can, we, it's, it's easy to reference that scripture and relate to it when we speak on the first two things. We weren't given a, a spirit of fear, but a, of power. Some people say peace, but it's, it's power, of power. Uh, 
and love. And that's and that seems easy to, re, to, to receive and believe. But the truth is you are also given, supplied with a sound mind. A sound mind. A sound mind. And so that sounds like it's something that a master creator or designer may have thought was just as important and just as vital for you to have as power, as peace. You know, for you to have a sound mind and be moving from a sound mind. If you're not moving and existing from a sound mind, you're not creating sound experiences. Uh huh. Let me speak to the manager. Uh huh. And now you're just making noise. You're not harmonizing. You're not in tune. You're just making noise. They can't harmonize. They're not listening. You can't, you can't harmonize if you're not listening to yourself, if you're not listening to your soul the same way that a singing group can, can't harmonize if they're not listening to each other. You could, you could, you, you know, you, you will be cool as long as you just play your motherfucking part. Sometimes your motherfucking part is, is, is knowing where you fit in in this situation. And, and I'm going, I'm going to do my part. You're going to do your, your, your part. And when we do it together, it makes harmony, but we have to listen to each other in order to do that. And, and the same thing happens when it comes to our internal management. If you're not listening to the components of your mind, body, soul, mind, body, soul, and vibration, and you're just going off of the impressions of your mind, but you're not listening to what your soul got to say, how could you be in harmony? And then you're like, then you are liable to to connect to a different frequency because you off pitch. So now this sounds like you. So now you going over here. Yeah. I can't go for that. Mm-hmm. No, no. I can't go for that. <laughs> I can't go for that. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Let me speak to the manager. Because you're doing this, you're doing this all wrong. But we think about it. I mean, we think about managing everything when it comes to economics. When it comes to industry, when it comes to family, when, you know, we were taught to manage our emotions or at least always, always told that, you know, like we apply managing to everything else except our internal state. And the purpose for internal management is to have well-being and to have success because it don't matter how well you you seem to manage other things if you aren't managing yourself it doesn't matter. It doesn't work. It doesn't bring you what you want out of life. So you can't manage the outside until you manage what's inside. If you not properly manage what's inside, what's outside will never fulfill you. We've seen it happen with people in the entertainment industry and, in, and just in any realm of, of success. That they clearly manage some a few things well to get them the fortune to get them the fame to get them the notoriety but they weren't managing themselves so everything that they were able to uh obtain and acquire really worked as a detriment because it just was just more for them to have but not have happiness and at some point in time they looked around and said damn how can i have all these things and not have happiness something must be wrong with me and they deemed themselves to uh not be in good states and fell into depressions and we i mean we've seen so many different stages of it up until when these people take their lives and everyone else is sitting around saying but they had it all but they didn't have anything that mattered they didn't have internal management they weren't speaking to the manager You are now tuned in to the Greater Resistance Podcast with me, the Manifest Mentor, Brian Hippolyte.